they freaked out from takeoff to Landon because he said, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> it's the one LGB the left hates to see. That's cute. <laughs> Southwest Airlines will conduct an internal investigation into a pilot who finished his passenger greeting with the phrase, let's go, Brandon, which sounded fine to me since 89% of male flight attendants are named Brandon. <laughs> you can look it up. It all started after an AP reporter on the flight tweeted about the remark, which quickly had all the grouches fainting on their couches. CNN's Asha Rangappa made this bold point, quote, I'd love for a Southwest pilot to say, long live ISIS, before taking off. My guess is that, one, the plane would be immediately grounded, two, the pilot fired, and three, a statement issued by the airline within a matter of hours. Well, mm, it's a bad comparison. <laughs> <laughs> It's just it's a bad comparison, <laughs> especially since no one has helped ISIS more than Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two laughs out of one joke. But if someone equates jokes with torture, terror, and murder, it can only mean one thing. They've been watching The Colbert Show. <laughs> of course, Southwest apologized, adding, Southwest does not condone employees sharing their personal political opinions while on the job, serving our customers. It's funny, though. The left has been doing this for years, joking publicly about the sitting president. They interrupted their own performance of Hamilton to ambush Mike Pence. There's thousands of other examples during the Trump era where people loudly voiced their Trump hate in public. And remember American Airlines allowing employees to wear BLM pins. But now when non-libs or righties are doing it, they left, they, the left is saying, hey, that's not fair. I wonder what the man himself thinks of all this. Look, 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 they told me I can't talk about Brandon. I'm gonna get in trouble here talking about Brandon. But I wanna talk about him. Let's go Brandon, let's go Brandon. I never seen the guy. He's afraid of me. I'll tell you something, I wanna take him out back behind the gym. I'll give him one of my five finger discounts. That's right, let's go Brandon. That's what I, I got. Him, it's got a different meaning now, doesn't it? Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I could probably do more push-ups than you and all your cousins. <laughs> Tammy, I I don't think that this, in my opinion, has nothing to do with the president. It's how the left isn't able to handle this. Huh. And, and, and they could take a page yeah. out of any conservative or libertarian's book. We've been dealing with this crap for years. Yeah, and so much more direct, whether it's De Niro at the Tonys, using yeah. the F word, uh, you know, obviously uh, the, the beheading of the president, that uh, Shakespeare in the park here yeah. with uh, uh, President Trump being killed. Uh, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. And what's funny, though, is, and what I adore about conservatives, this is like as dramatic as the conservatives can get, is finding a phrase and using a phrase that sounds like an insult and sort of is, and they're getting away with it. Yeah. That's what I love. It and it's true. Yeah. It's, it's true. But what I feel for is for every dad out there with a kid named Brandon who plays sports. Yeah. <laughs> That's Belts. my concern. That's every Brandon single Belts. parent uh, yeah. who, who can't yell now for their, go Brandon. It's like, yeah. uh oh, what? no, I didn't mean it. That is a problem. Go, go, go for it, Brandon! Oh. I know the parents care about this. Yeah, it's a, it's a, there's probably about 20 million kids named Brandon, I would imagine. Totally. I, I haven't done the math on it, Kat. You're, that's your department? Right, that's so true. Just <laughs> work something up for tomorrow. Okay. I'll just leave it on my desk. Okay, All right. get right on that. Yeah, what do, you, uh, what do you make of this story? Is it like I, shouting ISIS? No, because the plane landed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's not the same thing. But, but a lot of feelings were hurt when that plane landed. Like, <laughs> like all my favorite is the people who are saying they're going to boycott Southwest because there might be one employee who maybe doesn't like Joe Biden. Like, right. if that's the case, you probably have a lot of stuff to boycott. Like, yeah. good luck, you know, growing your own food and making your clothes out of leaves. Yeah. <laughs> the, the upside, you'll just be able to eat Ben and Jerry's nonstop. Yeah. Morning, noon, and night. That's all you can eat. It's called the Joe Mackey diet. Ooh. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, You're in great shape, Joe. I, I, will... I was just feeding off your, your donut thing. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like there's a cultural shift going on, Joe? The people that are the whiner, it used to be the, the, the Republican conservative, they were the stiff people. But now it's completely shift. 
the stiff people are on the left. Yeah, what happened to liberals, man? They used to be cool. <laughs> like, I remember reading that they, they banned selling candy at the registers in Berkeley, and I'm like, man, you can't even have candy. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't last a day in that town. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, I do agree with liberals that I don't want to hear a pilot's political opinion. I don't want to hear it at a football game. Let's not t turn everything into pl something political like an award show or, or public school. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I just want to hear, I just want to hear all the pertinent information to me. I don't care that there's some clouds over the Midwest or <laughs> we're, we're flying at 40,000 feet. That information doesn't help me at all. <laughs> just. Just be like, hey, the engine looked good and we remembered the gas. <laughs> I do like it when they say, uh, aside from a little bumps, it's gonna be smooth. I love hearing that when they do the, it's gonna be a little bumpy, but then it's gonna be smooth. That's the stuff I like to hear. Well, I think the flight attendants like really over dramatize the turbulence so they don't have to be quick with the drink service. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. Emily, um, what do you think of this? Okay, so I talked to a Southwest pilot, and he told me, and I was basically like, what would happen if the pilot said something else political, like, whatever, something that wasn't this phrase? BLM. Sure. Yeah. And he said, well, he'd probably or she would get a stern talking to, mm. but remember, they have union backing, and this isn't about safety. So he said there's absolutely no way they'd probably get time off. Mm -hmm. And then he said, but in this situation, because now Southwest is launching this investigation, and they're likely capitulating to all of this uproar, that he'll probably be terminated. But then he said, but then he'll get his job back because he's union backed and because yeah. they actually can't fire him about it. So I feel like this entire thing is an illustration of what matters to these people, which is number one, not understanding reality. Remember when we lost double digits of pilots in the COVID pandemic and afterward there was no flights happening and everyone right. freaked out. So here though they want to put him on the chopping block just because he said something funny. And then secondly the fact that all they want to do is check that box. Oh we let him go even though they're going to bring him back in through the back door afterward. Interesting. Exactly. Well yeah. Exactly. No. Exactly right. You got to move on but don't you remember Southwest was the fun airline? They were always like Not, joking around. Yeah, they started every flight with a joke. And yep. it, it, yeah. I'm from Los Angeles, and it was kind of irritating because you wanted the <laughs> flight to be serious. Yeah. And you thought, oh my God, it's the clown car. They, yeah, they would, yeah, they would always do, they were doing like, yeah. they were doing like open mic stuff. Yes, yes. And I remember yeah. sitting in the aisle and they're doing open mic, and it's like, what the hell's going on? Now it's like, you know, can't do that anymore. They've lost their sense of humor. Exactly. Somewhere in the skies, the unfriendly skies. See what I did there? I bet I'm the first person to ever say that. Certainly. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.